What's going on guys? My name is Fanuel. I'm a 23 year old entrepreneur from Maryland, USA. And over the past three years, I've been able to go from being a broke college student, having to juggle multiple different jobs in order to pay my bills and also support my family to actually going ahead and creating multi seven figure businesses to completely change mine and my family's life for good. And this is my day in the life. So typically I try to wake up around eight to 9 a.m. I don't go to bed early, so I typically struggle waking up early on. Even though I know that it's a habit that can actually benefit me, I kind of struggle with that, so that's definitely something I'm working with. But after I go ahead, brush my teeth and wash my face, the first thing that I do is take out my puppy Tank out of his bed. He's actually my alarm. I typically don't even have any alarm set. He wakes me up around eight to 9 a.m. And once I take him out, he's actually gonna be the first person to get served breakfast. After eating his breakfast, the first thing he's gonna do is just play around. He's a little too much sometimes, but I love this man. Where's your ball? Good job. Sit. Oh, you love that tank. Here, Tank. Hey, hey, hey. Hey, hey, Tank? No, no, no. Bad. No. No eating shoes. Hey, no, no. After getting ready, I typically go straight down to my office downstairs, which is very convenient. And that's one of the reasons that I bought this house about a year ago, because I get to work and live in the same place without having to go anywhere else. But after getting to my office, the first few things that I do is answer any emails, check in with my team and make sure that everything is going accordingly and see if there's any help that they need from me. After making sure that that's taken care of, the other things that I typically like to do is I check my calendar and see if there's any time consuming tasks that I have to take care of. And in this day, I had to go out and mail some tax forms. So when I have to leave the house and I don't really have anyone washing tank, I typically sneak him into my mom's room and then just lock and run away. That way I get to have someone to actually look after Tank. And the best thing about my mom living with me is not only is she gonna be able to help me out with Tank, and she also cooks some amazing food that I get to enjoy, which is definitely a plus. Typically, I eat everything in my house. My mom is a really good cook and she makes me awesome food, which I'm super appreciative of. But in this specific day, I actually had to eat out just because I wanted to get stuff done early on. I also had to go to the bank to wire some money for my team members and then also had to go to USPS. It's Ryan with iFly Montgomery. How may I help you? Hi, how are you doing? Doing good. Awesome. So I wanted to see if you guys had any availabilities today for like a tunnel time. I'm thinking 10 minutes. I'm a skydiver. So we are completely booked up for today. Oh wow. Okay. Yeah, uh, when's your next? We're busy on the weekends. Gotcha. When's your next availability? Our next availability would be for Wednesday. Oh wow. That's yeah, crazy. we're closed Monday, Tuesday. Oh okay, okay, that makes sense. All right, perfect. All right, thanks so much. No problem. I moved away and I have a new PO box, but this is from like a different business, so yeah, I apologize. Is it a key? Right. That's all? Bag, yeah, I'll dump it and I'll bring oh, it back. Okay. Oh, uh, join? Can I take it back? Yeah, you can take it oh, back. Oh, cool. Thank you. <laughs> So pretty much what I just picked up is return orders for our e-commerce businesses. We typically don't send returns to the Alpha Fulfillment Center. We send them to a PO box. I have multiple PO boxes that all the returns go to. So I typically go ahead and collect all the return stuff that we have. Most of the time we don't even need the product so we end up trashing it. USPS wants me to take it so I had to grab that real quick. So I typically like to wash my car myself. 
but given the fact that it's freezing cold outside and knowing that my pipes are probably gonna freeze if I try to do it myself, I had to stop by the car wash. Wanna say hi to the camera? What's up? <laughs> so pretty much for the rest of the day, I get on calls from my teams, make sure that everything's going accordingly. We talk a lot about long-term planning and also short-term planning and make sure everything is on track. One of the things that really helps me be a better entrepreneur and also have businesses that are constantly growing is the fact that I've built a team that I can rely on to get a lot of stuff done. I make sure that I'm in check and make sure that I'm always involved and you know, to show that I do really appreciate whoever is part of the team. So right now I'm gonna check in with my team. We actually have a launch going on today with a really big influencer for one of our e-commerce brands. I'm gonna check in with them, make sure everything is going straight. Check in with Ray and the team if there's any issues or anything that you need. Yeah, I mean, we did 25, no, I mean, we did 50 in 48 hours, 50 grand in total. So this time, let's hope that we can pass my biggest day. And I don't know, like 100 grand, I'll be happy with 100 grand a day. Oh, that'd be crazy. If we can pull off selling out stock in one day and doing like almost a quarter of a million in one day, that'd be. That would be cool. That'd be fucking insane. <laughs> <laughs> that'd be, that'd be a freaking, it's not half a million dollars, it's a quarter million dollars. Okay, quarter million dollars. And one day you could buy your citizenship, we're gonna to go to Mexico. Buy your citizenship. We just pay the pay the um the people at the border. <laughs> okay, that's not how it works, but anyways, let's not talk anything illegal out here. <laughs> <laughs> Make them feel part of something bigger, which obviously is something that I wanna do. I wanna be able to create hundreds of jobs. I wanna be able to have a company where it can benefit so many families and be able to change multiple different lives, which I think is my life purpose, which is my main goal, which is why I want to grow companies to higher levels. Obviously, I'm definitely just getting started. There's a lot of road ahead and it's definitely not easy, but it definitely comes with the reward of me being able to buy a house that I can bring in my family to live with me and being able to provide for my family and being able to give me the freedom to do pretty much what I enjoy doing is such a blessing that I cannot change for anything. So towards the end of the day, we actually had to go get a mattress for my guest room. I had a friend coming in and we didn't really have a mattress, so I had to go get one. So I had to go grab a trailer from a family and also go to Mattress Warehouse where we were met with a very energetic person and uh, you'll be the judge. What's cheap? No, what's you Well, if you just want a piece of shit, I'll give you a piece of shit out there for 250 bucks. <laughs> If you're not sleeping on it, then I guess it doesn't matter. But the question is, would I? Do you guys have anything that I can take right now? Absolutely. Like, cause I have a trailer. Absolutely. There's a there's. there's oh, that's full of mattress. Yeah. Oh, I didn't know. Yeah. Cool. Yeah, those are all full. <laughs> Zero in that two fifty. Two fifty four. Big button or small? Uh, small. Whoa, don't break it. Oh, wow, that corner looks dirty though. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, this corner is so dirty. I mean, when you put it. a bed cover over it, it's not like a. I started serving you like three of them last time. 
It doesn't mean I ate all of it. Yeah, you, you did. did. I brought one I back. saw you. I got this from mom. Did you see this is with? And what is that? You don't have oh, glazy? You, you don't have to put that on it. And then just he... eat it without it. Oh, no, no. Eat less sugar, buddy. <laughs> eat less sugar. This is the only sugar I can have. <laughs> Tank, spin. Without food. Sir, spin. No, don't jump. Spin. It's not spinning, man. Sir, spin. He's got. <laughs> So typically around the end of the day, I try to spend some time with family, make sure I have some quality time with them. I typically go ahead and take some break, come into my room. I was blessed enough to have a living room inside of my bedroom, which is really awesome because it gives me some privacy, it gives me some quiet time to just sit down. I just listen to some music and really think about what I worked on the whole day. I think about what I'm going to do the next day and kind of self-reflect. And once I do that, I typically get on play video games. I used to not be into video games. I never used to play. I used to always work, work, work. But after the whole pandemic happened, I don't have the ability to go out and hang out with friends as I used to. So. I get on a Call of Duty with my friends and that's my way of actually socializing. Yeah. So we just have to that's compromise good. sometimes, which I did with this. And once I'm done, I typically brush my teeth, wash my face, make sure I'm wearing my ring. This is not a promotion, paid promotion, but I wear my aura ring, which tracks my sleep and tells me what my body's feeling, whether I need to rest more, whether I had to get sleep. It's a very good tool, you should definitely check it out, even though I'm not getting paid, sponsor me. But that's pretty much what I do and go to sleep, hoping for a better day and hoping to get up and make a killing the next day. So that's pretty much my day. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, all I ask from you is to go ahead, hit that like button as it really does help the channel. Make sure that you subscribe because I'm gonna be dropping some crazy quality content because I have an awesome person joining the team that's going to help me with making some sick content for you guys. So make sure that you're subscribed and I'm going to be doing a lot of giveaways so you definitely don't want to miss out. So with that being said, I'll see you in the next one.